What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Football Manager 2022 Journeyman Series. Be sure to leave a big like on the episode. Uh, get a comment in as well uh, with where we are at. Uh, leave your opinions. So first, we update you on, you know, something we were working towards and we had a promise for. A Continental Pro license, the duration, of course, 12 months. It's going to take a year. Um, the cost, 6K. So I thought about, oh, 6K. We're at a team now where, okay, it's a little bit, it's not too extreme, but yeah, the Continental Pro License is the highest qualification a coach can earn. If you can see some other staff and actually, yeah, Phil Neville, we we wanted to, that was the final coach. We had one, yeah, one spot available. I thought his experience, like he's been a manager in the game as well, in the save, and then obviously previously, um, yeah, he's had like coaching roles and all that stuff. Um, defending or 16, mental or 16, he brings that side of the game and a good mentor. Obviously, his experience, yeah, his you know, time at Man United and all of that, it gives him a strong mental game. Uh, people management, the poorest, but yeah, if you see the important ones for a coach, uh, yeah, he's covered pretty well. Also, it says that it ensures they are at the top of their game in knowledge and ability to work worldwide. So we get the courses out of the way, we complete them all, hopefully get up to three star and really, really solid reputation uh, starting to have. Uh, so guys, I, I think I'm known to sign younger players. Like, I don't know, but I, 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 just, I just have this feeling, in this save at least, I'm signing young players. Like, you think that's true? But also, I did want to show you the actual, how's our attributes? Where we started, I love how my level of discipline has gone all the way to 20. Like, from how I've managed, obviously, you can see the description of it uh, right there. But what do you think, <laughs> like, through my actions, what do you think, yeah, that would have been my level of discipline to shoot right up to 20? I say shoot like it's been quickly, but, like, in comparison to all the other attributes, yeah, uh, let me know yeah, my actions about and of course adaptability um, that gives you a chance of finding employment in a foreign league so I'd like that to go a bit higher but I wonder what actually yeah actions we take to improve that I mean in terms of studying yeah you study your licenses but after that I like to think that we've managed out so like a few different countries now I, I want to see that start to push up but overall I don't mind how my manager attributes look and how effective do you think the 20 for level of discipline is? But I think it's very important by what it describes. See, like players will be less likely to bring up issues, which oh, I love. Don't I always complain about players complaining, funnily enough? But since, yeah, I'm probably going to make this t the title, to be honest. I don't expect we're going to score 10 goals like in another match. So we we're going to round up. We we're going to play the rest of August. But I, w I wanted to show you there was 10 goals scored. But because it's, this would be more highlights than a normal match, so we'll just go through more so the details. So, yeah, Jean, he scored a hat-trick. Diego Gonsalves, we, we, I say we decided to keep him. He rejected the club. So maybe I'm a bit thankful uh, looking back on it because would I have been able to replace him with someone better even though he's 31? Let's gun hard for some se se like yeah the success this year. Let's go hard for success this year. He could be a big part of it. Could he be the same the following season? I expect he declines a little, but yeah, <laughs> we just got to focus on the now. That's all we can do. Uh, we still have the asking price there. I don't know if another team will come along, but if he has like a really good season, he's hopefully will hold as high a value as he could. So yeah, <laughs> star. Like, hold up, he actually scored, like, yeah, four goals. That's a big number over there on the left wing. And, of course, when you win by that kind of margin, uh, you're going to have players, like, your whole team's going to play well. But also, we did make one more signing. Well, you know about Rentero, so he, you know, he's gone through, he's come in, we have him in the under-21. So you might not see him so much right now. He's got a bit of potential, but, yeah, just easing him in. Carlos Gomez, our left back that we brought in, we were... Like, they're both currently two stars. But if we give them a quick comparison, maybe they've got different, stronger attributes. But, yeah, Carlos Gomez, he was available for a free transfer, popped up. Yeah, here in the good old scouting center. And I was a bit surprised. Like, there, like, there was a lot, a lot of them when you go, like, you tick and you go to the next one. 
a lot of them are already at clubs, but he was released and I thought, okay, look at his value. You probably say it's around a million. It's from 800 to 1.3. But another five-star potential. He's in the first team, so that's being compared to the rest. So he's, yeah, he looks good. Though, guys, you might have pointed out with Carlos Gomez, he has very low marking. That's four. So we're gonna. that's going to be one of the attributes really heavy focus on through his position and then additional focus. Uh, that's the only one that's a letdown, uh, truthfully, because you want to, yeah, strong defensive attributes. You never want a weak, a weak defensive attribute for one of your defenders, clearly. So, yeah, I just, I hope that's not a downfall for him because even at his very best, how high is that attribute going to be? I can't ever see it much more than seven or eight, unfortunately. He's probably going to have a strength with attacking, to be fair, considering crossing dribbling already eights and he's pretty quick. So just think of that. And guys, Rami Alhad, you know, we've always been impressed with his performances and know his training's good. Look, yeah, and look at all those arrows going up. That's always beautiful to see, isn't it? Uh, aside from the fact, yeah, he's training well, but to see the attributes moving in the right direction. And he's already got three goals. Two being in the previous match, but I like to almost not focus on the goals and see everything else he does so proficiently. Like he gets like a lot of numbers. See, I just love updating and just looking at this stuff myself, especially when they're doing well. Edgar Nunez, but also the fact of if I'm talking about a lot of players like talent or more so their potential and how they're doing in training, how they're improving. It just says a lot for our future. <laughs> like there's great players. I don't think he showed up there for whatever he uh, Garby, maybe because he's injured. So yeah, you never want injury to trouble the development, but so I, I, I like you guys getting an idea how players are tracking. And well, of course the Vaughn Al Hajj, an offer comes in here that would be I wouldn't accept that non-negotiable. If it was negotiable, I might try and get a good... Because every... Yeah. Everyone has their price, especially financially, but especially doesn't even want to join. So you probably wouldn't entertain that. But he's someone that, yeah, he's got value in him. And it's how you prioritize that, yeah, what you want for your club. But when he doesn't want to join to a club, um, uh, go to a club, yeah, you have no worries. Just rejecting it. But let's get into this one. And honestly... Again, against right-wing defensive midfielder. <laughs> Again, I know that's not uh, their name, but we're going to call them that. Uh, tenth. I reckon... Oh, hold up. We've started well to the season so far. This has been a solid start. But something I'm noticing... I, yeah, I guess we've got Tarasuk on the bench. I still think we're lacking a winger. Hold up. Have we got anyone on... The, of course, I was going to go to the under-21s. Um... Well, yeah, we brought in Rentero. We're going to, yeah, bring up players if we need them. But, yeah, Corentin Jean, uh, he's, like, we can rotate him from the striker position. And, obviously, uh, Mert could come in. So, yeah, we're, we're solid for now. We might need to rotate, like, if we get an injury and maybe promote one of the younger guys. If you were wondering about that anyway. And we have changed, like, or we have put Pablo Pardell as a winger just simply because he is weak on his left is that's not an inside forward or in inverted winger role uh so yeah that's been working now let's get into the match and once more we're still in a division where i don't really recognize many names so obviously like if you're managing in a top division you're aware of more players you might have more a thought of yeah you, you might be thinking more at least also with our center backs uh we brought popovich in or popovich yeah he's playing Hey, with Kostov there, Kostov and Popovich, uh, we rotate our centre-backs. Obviously, the older Bendetti, yeah, he's been playing, but we're not going to play him every single match. Just carry on from the last performance. Yeah. I d what I want to see... Oh, that always changes, and I hate that. Oh, we get a bat. That's very bipolar, I'm not going to lie. But what are your thoughts, Why? Because they react off other players as well from influential players in the team. But anyway, <laughs> it's just how it happens. But it's, it's a bit strange. They can go from having that reaction, losing it, then get it back. It's a bit up and down. But let's see. Like, I don't know. It's so rare. I was so shocked in that game. We scored 10. The goals just kept coming. But what I want to see is a similar effort, like similar performance levels, and we'll be happy. Again, I'm not expecting a goal from this first highlight. Okay. 
But I've learnt to just, you know, expect the unexpected. Okay. Rabbi there puts it in. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah don't tell me it's a penalty 30 sec 40 seconds in. Is this how we're going to kick this match off? This is on the opposite side of the spectrum. We can go from 10 goal score to conceding a... Like, was it even a penalty? We're never going to know. Wallison, can he save it? Oh, yes, he saves that. Not just saving the penalty, but just a rubbish start. And I don't know if it's a penalty or not, but we're past that now. And you, you yeah, that's like such a bad way. Such a bad way to start, but like it's such a comeback. That's what I mean. Even if it's early in the game, you're just behind. And Wallison, he look he looks on, but they've got a corner. They've started. Like they've had a lot of action. Like two, what two and a half minutes in. There's been a lot. So I just have this feeling today. Yeah, it's probably not going to be on the same level of goals scored from us, but. Let's see what we've got. Neves. I want to see a bit more from him. Obviously, he's on loan. Pardal. Yes, come on. We'll look for you to get a cross in. Or someone needs to be in the box. Al Hajj. He'll be the one to get it in. And Consolvi's not quite. So let's give an early shout. Just say encourage. Encourages are pretty good shouts. Okay. They, they're really... Get a ta... Oh, Pardal. To me, you make an amazing tackle, then you feel pressured for a long ball like that that was pretty poor anyway. That's... I don't want it to lead to a goal because your great effort is is not a great effort, mate. That great tackle was is no longer. It leads to a goal. So, yeah. Not very good. Not very impressive. And again... Mate... One good defensive play can be cut out by a bad defensive play when it leads to a goal. It's oh, I know, I know that for sure, man. I know that for sure. People know you have one bad defensive thing. People are going to focus on that, you know, like, and you could do everything else right. A, a player's perspective. Come on, don't concede. Ah, oh, that's a rubbish one to concede as well. As a tell, oh. The fact that we concede a penalty so early, uh, mm, is there was something happening for this game, clearly. Ah, what are you doing there? What's the point of having someone there if you're not... Wake up! Wake up! He's on the line. Like, what can you do? Really, what can you do? Oh my, it's not our day. It's, you, you've you seen clear highlights of that. And it looks like they're more dominant. Like, they're dominating us. Maybe they're at home. Could be the reason. But, like, you've just seen some weird defensive plays. And that Gomez hasn't really had, yeah, hasn't had a great game. Come on. Get a goal back and give us some hope into the second half. Because it's overall pretty disappointing. Get a tackle in. Console. Oh my god. Why are we playing? We're just playing bad. Wallison is. I mean, saving us to an extent. Still conceded twice. But I wouldn't say it's his fault. They're just got uh, him again. He's saving it from being like 4 or 5 nil in the first half. If we're being honest. Far out. But yeah, I'm just trying to. Like, what, what is the reason? How can we have this fluctuation? What was that? And if we don't see something instantly, we'll look for a change. Because it's an extreme from match to match. A very big difference in just performance levels. Whatever the reason may be. And yeah, it doesn't look like we're seeing much. So we're going to put... Da yeah, Gomez being poor. We'll put Da Silva Lopez there. And then we're going to bring on... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Mertz. We're going to go two up top. That's how we do that. Mert, probably put him. And Jean will be, yeah, deep lying. Just, yeah, wow. 
We probably go attacking. Liven the game up, play higher tempo, and just short it. Yeah. So it keeps our game. Uh, maybe higher line, and we get stuck in. Neves, and he hasn't been great. We're going to bring on Brolt, who's, you know, not the same level of player right now, but he's a future prospect. He's shown little signs in minimal performances, but yeah. Come on. Oh, the thing is, two goals down, that's... You can come back from that. Mert! Oh, for the story, that would be so good. Like, just coming on. Youngster, talent for the future. If he scores instantly, like... Oh, but that still shows his signs, no doubt. Okay. Yeah, you can tell we up the tempo. Can't we? Can't we? Ah... And I'm sure his name is maybe not pronounced like Mert. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought we were going to mess that up. Back on his name, it could be like Mert. Here he is. There he is again. Could be like Mert. But what we are concerned about. Can we find a breakthrough? <laughs> well, yeah, we're waiting for something here. Brolt. Oh, that's, he's done it again. Oh, does it count if it's offside? He's had a couple offside passes, I've seen. Come on, make it count. Yes! Because that, you can see the vision. He got it back here as well, from even deeper. So, that, yeah, it's not, it's the technique and it's like the mental side to pick that out. That's the vision and the technique. That's brilliant. That's so impressive. And it was a tight offside. So even the fact of that, the the pass, the timing of it was perfect. Yeah, he was he was clearly on. I mean, it was tight, but you could see we, he was still onside. It was obvious. So it was just he knew he had to pass it then and got it right. It's it's impressive. Okay. This gives us this see this is momentum time. This is when we can hit. We just need to take the chances. Come on. Look, see, look what it's come to now. We, you know, oh, we we haven't been the best team. Amokarain in midfield. Hmm. Brolt just come on and Al has been amazing. Yeah, a bit tricky. We could bring. Ooh, I don't want to mess too much. I mean, we already had done, and this is not a four-three-three anymore. Which probably ta we want to go a bit more direct and through the middle. Even though we still created a chance this way. Last 20 minutes. See, one more sub. Tarasuk. Okay, for Pardo. Give him a look. Give him a chance. And again, yeah, strong his left foot. Yep, the boy from Ukraine. Ukrainian. Hopefully, he can do something. 20. 20 minutes. Come, oh, come on, come on, come on. Demand more. Like, it would be nice. Let's go. Let's go. You can feel it coming. Yes, we're positioned well, and here he is. Oh, far post, Consolvis, Alhaj, and it leads up absolutely perfectly how we built up. We talked about him and, of course, a few other players. How good is he? But, I mean, in depth, like, yeah, he had a few things. He had a literal, literal transfer offer. So, yeah, he's been training well, developing Performing well, getting transfer offers, pulling us out of the mud here. Like, we were in a position, we were playing absolutely poor. There could be ex more extreme words we could use to describe, but yes, so we were playing like that in this game. And Wallison kept us in it, mate. Kept us absolutely in this. And Wes, we better hold on. <laughs> oh, I'd hate. Don't get. No. Wallace and he saved us all day. Why? 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 That's not in the story. Da, no. We got it back. Rabbi. He hasn't even. Rabbi, he hasn't even been good form. Maybe he was due. due like, he was due to get back. <laughs> I'm, I'm just annoyed. I'm just annoyed that, no, I'm not going to change more. This should have been a draw we came back to. 
but from their side, they deserve a win. But from my side, we brought it back and should have held on. Disappointing. Disappointing. Even though the defense is saying, yeah, you look at the XG, they probably should have beat us. But I felt it should have been one we just, we held on. That's annoying. It was all the situation. Because from the game, yeah, they were they were so good early. Early we were looking trash. But I think we did enough to get ourselves in a good position, drawing. And then those changes, which seem like great changes to get two goals back, seem just like, oh, I'm just trying to not say it in a, such a bad way. But it was just bad. It, suddenly it was a bad way to be playing. Because we weren't losing. <laughs> and I guess we were... Oh, we were so close to keeping that un undefeated streak as well. Yeah, how you go from a 10-1 to that, that... Just that performance. Take a result off the table. How we played for majority of the game. How? And Antwerp is like not a bad team in the league either. Okay. To back up what I said more, they're six now, but their start to the season was pretty good. Uh, consider, yeah, well, they qualified for Europe, so <laughs> Europa Conference League. So consider all that. But all right, this time a home match against the new team that's in 10th in Westerlo. I, I feel a bit more confident in our home performances. Like, I don't feel like we should be weak in this matchup. We, we, we've got to be strong. So we'll switch up. I think the Silva Lopez goes back. Goes, yeah, put... Put him left back. Yeah, he goes left back. Then Gomez, still young. He's just coming into a new team, two country, let's, new country. Let's not rush him in. Yeah, we won't rush him in. Amok Rain comes back. See how he's tracking as well. Yeah, especially with that kind of form in his training and development. Yeah, got to give him a go. Benedetti to come back in. I think Kostov goes out. Yeah, he and Popovich together. We'll go on with this lineup, I think. Yeah, confident in this one. So, dressing, this is going to be interesting. Point finger. Show the praise is justified. Come on, this is a big game, okay? For attackers, faith in you. Okay, doesn't change. But, yeah, it's a big game. We wouldn't want to lose this one. Come on. Especially coming off the previous game I played, not in this episode before, with that 10 goals, man. Yeah. I want to see some signs of that. But you can see when we get going and the tempo's up. We can really start scoring. So come on. What have we got here? Defend this. <sighs> really? Not much words. Not much to say. I'm like, why? <laughs> I feel like we had them covered. Like, when we're not out of position. <sighs> like, to the players, I'm like, okay, are you gonna, what are you gonna do about that? Like, ugh, it's frustrating. So, yeah, we need, okay, before we talk about it, maybe, maybe something's gonna come up. Oh, missed header, Benedetti, why did I think you were the missing link? <laughs> from the last game. Okay. The ma we what I know we we got to see something. Come on. Pardal's already looking tired. Come on. Amok Rain. Okay, Al had you got to win this. When he's not Winning about oh yes, let's not give up too early. Then Neves to Lopez. Is that oh? Is this our turn for some good fortune here? Are we gonna get some good fortune? Come on, this is. I feel this has to be a penalty. The bill, <laughs> the refs walking a long way. It doesn't necessarily mean it should be, but if it feels like. We should be due for one. Come on. The build-up is there, and it's a what yet. Yeah. Come on. Now we have to now we have to take it. 
It is going to be Gonsalves. Right, we're just not saying too much. Yep. I didn't want to hype him up and say, yeah, he's been good from the spot, but he scored eight goals for the season. Yeah, he has definitely. I was confident in him. I was really confident. Gonsalves. I just don't like to say he's been in good form and then he goes up to miss it. <laughs> we want to wait till he scores. And we needed that, but we equally have to push on. Like, look, 63%. We've got, you know, controlling the game to a level. We need to come out in the second half. And even say thrash arms. No, this is not good enough. Let's go right to the tactic. So from the off, we're going to get stuck in higher line and we're going to up the tempo. And we'll go shorter. Yeah, an extremely high tempo. That's what we do. When we're wanting, yeah, to see a bit more, let's get it. And there's a highlight instantly. First minute. That's where we've got to be deadly and take those chances. Those are different make difference mate, like little set pieces, free kicks, corners. Change games. When you just take yeah, when you just take it. So mm, Pardell's been a bit weak in these last few right, he's injured here. Yep. Antoli, bring him in. I want to push up to a three in midfield. Okay. There we go. Promise we got that on the next try. So we can't go Mazala box to box for Ammo Crate. Okay, I don't mind that. So we try it that way, which is still probably seen as a 4 3 3. But just no DM there. Come on. Fire up, maybe. Oh, I think we just we deserve to sneak this like a 2 1. But. Mert on the bench. How about... Uh, Gonzalez had a good game, but he's tired. So we're going to switch those two. We did mention that that's an option for us. Come on. I mean, bro, he's imp like, he shows he can... Uh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> that's me. Just He's nervous. What are you going to do? Ne I'd rather take Neves off, who hasn't really done much. Honestly, in many games as well. Come on. Let's put an attacking mindset. How much does that change? So short, extremely high. Here we go through the middle. Uh, yeah, looking at everything else. Just leave it. Man, we're so far off that 10-goal game. God, it's theirs. At least we defend. Oh, that has to be offside. Clearly, so. Maybe just sake for a highlight because we may not see much else. Ah, that has to be offside. Yeah, I, I wasn't even worried. It was just clear. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not sure what he was hoping for. But I'm, I'm just feeling like we're not going to see much. Come on, Brolt. Come on. Be the super sub. Imagine that from a free kick. Come on. Come on! Oh, I was seeing that. Oh, I saw that going in. But there could be another chance for us. Come on. In recent times, we are, we've are we got goals in us. Come on. Mirt. Oh, no. Cough. Seriously. That that should be a winner. That should be a winner. Ah, uh, I get lost. That was good enough for a win. I'm annoyed. Because I guess in today's games, you haven't seen a reflection of those the game we scored 10. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, Ukraine. The Ukrainian... Tarashuk could have been the hero. Oh, come on. Come on. There's not much time left. We've got to rush. Ah, oh, Tarashuk, he was rushing there. <sighs> and I, Yeah, I, I'm annoyed that we didn't win this. Nine shots on target to three. Triple. Look at... That should have been three points. So you get the idea how we're scoring a lot of goals. 
and how we could have in one game, but we should have in this one. Got a few more. You might even say a goal we scored was through a penalty. <laughs> I'm disappointed because these kind of results is what is going to drop us from yeah, staying around those top positions. Like that game should have been three points there. The last game was bad. This one was good and we should have won it. There's no other way to say it. So we're going to leave it like that on a pretty disappointing fashion. I think in the end, results-wise, maybe we could have snuck that draw in the last one and that one we win. But it falls onto the side where it doesn't go your way and we take a loss and a draw. So, hey, we're going to leave it. Hopefully we can get back. Oh, I say, yeah, if we can keep playing like that last game against Westerlo, I think goals will come. But anyway, <laughs> we'll leave it there. Thumbs up really do help out. Comments help out. Really appreciate your guys' support through the series, uh, those of you that do. But I'll leave it there for now and see you guys in the next video.